Hello everybody and welcome back to MJ Games. Today we're going to do another park tour and the park that we are looking at today is called Wild Horn Park by Deep PHS um, with a capital D and then PH and S capitalized. So this already has almost four stars as a rating on the um, Frontier Workshop but as we can see they still got about 20% to work with, but man, this is highly detailed. It's highly compact, but boy, it's highly detailed. And I do like how we have a little bit of mountains kind of here trying to separate. Hey, this is where kind of the city or the park kind of ends. You got a little lake, but I can already tell the terraforming here is really good. Um, and uh, man, we got a lot of rides that are going in and out of stuff. So let's get started with this park. Oh, let's go through really nice entrance let's do this camera right here all right so we've got some I like the style of these buildings very nice um, let's see what we got up here okay this is just the queue to get to this roller coaster I'm guessing okay like I said I'm not good with this camera you know what let's get off this there we go all right so this looks like, let me pause that train so we can get part of it. Man, I really like this um, this right here. That looks really nice with the custom little rail, uh, wooden post there. Super nice ride. Love the station. So this is a torque. Let's go to train two. Let's go track view, or front bumper. All right. That was a really nice ride. Um, super smooth. Really enjoyed it. Love the inversions. A lot of near misses. I, I'd be really interested to know um, just how you did all the terrain work for this because that is one area that I just really struggle at is terraforming. And I like how you even have some supports down here. Really, really nice. Um, Man, that's, that's just super nice, and the theming around this, this is incredible. Um, and all the buildings you made, and you're sticking to the same style, a really good job. I like these little planters that you can use as trees, which could be wrong, but I think people can walk through them. Actually, no, you know, never mind. Good job. Yeah, and so for something like this, if you just place that little, um, um, what you want to call it, a little barrier there, they won't walk through it if that bugs you. Um, this is super, super nice. Love all these little shops. The sight lines are really good. I like how you have a lot of um, planters and stuff. There's a nice bridge. Okay. Did a good, jo good job keeping it with the path. Alright, so here's the line for the next ride. We got a little cattle pen right there. Nice. Custom railings. Okay, so this looks like a car heist maybe or did I get that wrong 
yeah, or bar heist, you ever how you pronounce it? All right. Alright, so that was Wildhorn, uh, I didn't see the last net, the last word, Wildhorn Kraisel, Kraisel, um, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, nice ride, um, once again does a little bit of, um, interacts with the train a little bit, I love the trees you used, and you used a variety of trees too, which I think is always nice and, and good, so here we have a drop ride, a little log flume, nice design for it, really nice. Just the theming is just amazing on here. The buildings that are made, super nice park. Um, honestly, I love this bridge because I feel like bridges aren't built enough in this game. That coaster, that coaster is one of my favorite coasters I've seen in this game. That's a that a lot of fun. Um, I could be totally off on this, but it kind of reminds me of the new Velocity coaster and the kind of the track looks the same and has a lot of near misses and a lot of rock work. Um, nice ride all right so it looks like we got another coaster uh, we got a couple flat rides here a lot of open um, open pathways okay it looks like a dive coaster all right so we'll stay on this one I'll just fast forward a little bit. So once again, nice station. Not anything too complicated, but it works for the for the ride. I like the color scheme, the green and black. Another nice ride. Um, I love how it dips underneath everything twice, especially right here. That that's really nice. Um, super nice ride. I like too how before we dropped, you can see they've got a little walk bridge right here. That's that's really nice. I, I enjoy that. All right, so let's go over here. And one thing I love about this too is you did not shy away from all the different styles of buildings in terms of how you had them looking. And I love that you had buildings that were not just rectangles and squares. Because those are harder to do, but I think once you do them a couple times, they're not overly complicated. And it gives, and it, gives it more of a realistic feel because, you know, not every building is going to be rectangles and squares um, in real life. So that's good. All right. So I guess the first coaster I've seen over here was this large one over here. All right, so it looks like we've done all the coasters and we've done this, um, looked at everything this entire park. I love this little seating area. Something I should do in one of my parks. That's really nice. Really nice. So, once again, I believe, um, yes, the name of this park is Wild Horn Park. So make sure to go on the workshop, and if you liked everything you saw, make sure to subscribe and rate the park. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to keep um, up to date in terms of seeing um, Planet Coaster Park tours. Um, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.